Hello everyone and welcome to this new write-up video on the We Will We Will Shock You challenge from the Inferno CDF. Um, the description is just a smiley face, uh, but we get a link to a, a website, so let's take a look at that. This is just the default uh, Apache page, nothing interesting about this, so let's take a look at, at what it's got going on. Uh, I like to take a look at the HTML in the debugger in Firefox, so this is just the CSS, CSS. Um, here we have a comment, but it doesn't really have anything interesting. So let's scroll past that. We have all the information on the page. And then we have this bashfernal.cgi. So the first thing I tried is just to put that here. And as you can see, we get a new page. Although this page kind of contains less in a sense. But it has a comment saying it's shocking, right? Um, uh, so at this point, I was stuck for quite a long while. But when you're stuck, you should Google the information you have. So what do we have? We have something with shocking. We have uh, Apache and CGI. Uh, another hint is shocking. So if we just combine those and Google shocking CGI um, Apache, let's see if we get anything. Uh, we instantly get a thing called shell shock, shell shock remote command injection. So let's take a look at this shell shock thing. All right, so it seems to be something with where you have to give the IP port and it's gonna give you a shell. It's not really a lot of information on this, so, uh, but, but a vulnerability does exist called shell shock, which I mean, it would be a great coincidence if it wasn't related to this challenge. So let's do a search ploit. Um, right here we have a Apache Shellshock remote command injection. So then let's go to Metasploit, the way search Shellshock. Uh, and right here we have an auxiliary that's going to scan for uh, Shellshock. So let's use that one. So use zero, I'm gonna show the options. Uh, we have a command, command to run. So it seems like this is like a scanner, but also just command uh, injection, RCE rather. So we need to supply our, our host or our port and our target URI, which is the path to the CGI script. Okay, so let's get started on that. We're going to grab the IP and port set our hosts to just the IP, set our port to just the port, and then we still have to set the target URI, which is bashferno.cgi. All right, set target URI, bashferno.cgi, and let's run this. And as you can see, our ID command has been executed. So now let's try uh, setting our command to something like uh, who am I or, or whatever. So binaries, who am I? Now run. Okay, it's not in binaries then, I guess. It's in user binaries. Yeah, okay. So we pretty much have command, our RCE, um, but we don't really have a shell. There is another exploit here, uh, this one, but I couldn't get that one to work. So if you were able to get that one to work, uh, please contact me because I would like to actually use this to get a to get an actual shell on the box, or on the yeah on the box. But I wasn't able to do that, so 
I just had to use this, not really a shell, you know, just one command injection. But that also works fine. Um, now let's uh, do some enumeration on here. We're just going to do a ls, which is obviously in just binaries. Okay, okay, so we did an ls, we got the bash inferno.cgi, we got the flag for this inferno in the index.html. So now I think we can just do that and get the flag. Yes, we can. You could also have done to a cat of the file and then run it and that will also give you the flag so you have uh, multiple options on that one but we have the flag which we can enter on the page and that was it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one